Chicago Bears offensive little mini ebook, mini scheme for you guys here on the YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out my entire Chicago Bears offensive ebook, it is available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. This is the best version of the bunch strong offset formation. This is the reason why you would run this playbook. And the only audible that you're going to want to set is the play corner strike. If you want to have dagger, what I would do is put it in your bunch strong nasty audibles and you could kind of run dagger that way. We will go over dagger uh, in the video, but the main play you want to come out in every single time is going to be flood. Now, as far as personnel real quick, make sure you have your fastest player at the slot receiver position um, for you know the jets. You can put uh, Mike Williams out here on the solo side and then put Garrett Wilson here. Here. Uh, for the most part, I pretty much just run uh, the, the offense uh, with my bunch to the wide side, and we're going to be coming out on the play flood. Now, the first setup is, and again, these little videos here are meant to be just simple uh, little mini mini guides to formations to kind of get you started. If you want the full ebook, the link is uh, it's in our school community, and the link's in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to literally everything over there. So what I like to do in this game is you can stem multiple routes pretty quickly out of the huddle. So we're just going to stem the tight end all the way down, and we're going to stem the solo wide receiver all the way down. So you see this is what the play looks like. This is my first play, and basically this is just a simple high-low read to the right side. Most of the time your tight end is going to be open. Now, you see right there that against cover four, uh, an outside quarter can sometimes actually play this pretty good. So what you want to do is you just got to freeform this to the outside. For freeform settings, I am on uh, placement and accuracy 20 out of 20 with no pass lead increase. I think that's a super big deal. You're not going to get as much overthrows in this game. But you'll see against cover four or cover three, this uh, stemmed corner is pretty effective. And then you do have this backside in route. I love backside in routes. It's just simple check downs here. So you see if everything's covered, we can just, I guess, miss a wide open throw and throw the ball to the wrong team. But... Rodgers is the best quarterback in this game, and he will eventually – I think he's actually one of the better ones in Mutt, too. He will be the best quarterback in Mutt as soon as he gets a set-feet lead ability um, or pass lead elite. This guy is insane. But if they're playing hard flats, you're just throwing that tight end corner for the most part. Now, let's say one of the things you might not know about this game is curl flats are actually really good at defending corner routes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, oh, there's a, a curl flat out there. You see how he kind of drifts. Actually, I don't know what I just I don't know what I just did on defense. These hook curls are so weird. Uh, I've never seen hook curls play this weird before in my life. For some reason, hook curls will like go play corner routes, but they'll leave the middle of the field wide open. Let's take a look at this here. So you see here that curl flat, and you see I can still kind of throw that even though that hook curl is technically quote unquote playing it. But the thing that I want to show you, I guess this curl flat does get does actually get sucked down by this uh, this flat route. But normally this flat route is going to be open in a game. So yeah, he backs up, you can just throw the flat route. That's the, uh, the simple thing to do. Now, let's say they play cover two. So cover two this year, uh, cloud flats, they don't really – basically nothing guards flats well. So you always want to look to this flat. That's why I love that flat routes. A lot of people, they're not using flat routes this year. I really believe in flat routes this year because I think – the flat routes are pretty much always open because they're going to obviously want to switch stick to take away that corner route, and then you just have this little check down flat route that you can take 5, 10, 15 yards with. So to me, this is a simple, uh, simple high-low read to the, to the right. The other thing about, uh, how the, about this play against man coverage, if they're playing like uh, man coverage, normally the main read is this backside in route or the tight end. Uh, that got kind of crazy bagged. Let me see if I can show you. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the random like bugs in this game, too, are super interesting. I would love to be able to stem this in route. So you see here, I don't know why Mike Williams is getting pressed into the dirt, but uh, apparently cover one robber might be the best defense in Madden 25. <laughs> Let's see if we can throw this our, our wide open tight end. So you see how you can kind of like really bend the ball to the right, and that tight end will normally be able to beat man for you. And then normally what will happen is this backside in route, if he can get off the press, see how he gets that inside cut, and he'll beat man. Now, speaking of man coverage, we're going to go over to the next play is wide trail, and we're going to go over how to use this play. So I love this play. I think this play is super simple. All you're going to do is stem the corner route all the way down and then just snap the ball. And basically this post is money um, as we overthrow it. I feel like you get a lot of overthrows with, with uh, pass lead velocity uh, abilities. 
in this game so far. I'm gonna have to change my settings for for this, but but anyway, take a look here at this post. So when he cuts inside, we're not gonna really freeform this. We're just gonna pass lead down and to the right. Hopefully he'll actually make make the plat make the pass. Rogers for some reason is uh, not really interested in throwing the ball to the wide open player. Let's see here. Let's just freeform it for fun here. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, boys. I don't know. I don't know. I might be off uh, pass lead elite. I I. I <laughs> I don't know why that's not why that's not open. Let's see if we can. It looks like he'll probably win here. There you go. So I mean, normally that's honestly just a trust throw against man. Like the post routes from the solo receiver this year are really good against man. I'm actually kind of surprised. Mike Williams might just be a bad bad player in this game, um, as far as like beating man. But look at the drag. It just cooks man coverage press. So. Another thing that a lot of people are going to do because of how effective speed outs are is they're going to shade outside. This is another reason why this wide trail play is really good because if they shade outside, you see here this post when he cuts inside, possession. you always want a possession catch that post, and it's very effective. So I like the post route, and they're going to basically have to, you know, use her over there. They're going to have to do something over there to stop it. And then, you know, we'll, we'll kind of put like a yellow here. So they put like a yellow over there to stop that. And then this is where this play just does a really good job against man coverage. And you'll see here that this uh, stemmed corner normally is going to be pretty good against press man. Again, just kind of pass lead to the outside. If you want to block your running back, you can do that. Um, the running back's not super important in the route combination for man. And then the main thing you have also, like I said, look at this, tr look at this drag. I just feel like this drag just cooks press man. I feel like they just bump really well, and, and this drag just gets like a, a natural pick, a natural rub. And then the other thing, so let's say they decide that they are going to go and use her the drag, so it looks something like this. Let me see if I can actually put this guy in a hard flat. It's got a hook curl, right? And then they have kind of this is this is kind of what you're walking them into, obviously. Um, let's go ahead and, and like pretend like this is going to guard the post. I want you to watch this tight end route. Well, you'll see here, here's a tight end route. You see, see how that tight end just gets inside leverage against man? And you're going to be able to cook man that way. So this is just kind of my main play for man coverage. I really like this play for man coverage. As far as this play goes against zone coverage, you really just have a high-low read in the middle of the field between your drag, your trail, and your post. The corner route can be thrown, um, as you see. It's a stemmed corner, so you can, especially with pass lead, like – if they're if they're if they're playing like like purples and stuff, I don't think it's like super open. But that's where like if you leave this running back route out here, a lot of times this running back could just be a check down read for you. Um, so you so let let me explain. So like let's say you know one of the best ways to stop the stem corners is cover two, right? So if they if they're doing that, the cloud will back up to the corner, and then you can throw this and one spin. And this thing is insane, right? So that's what I'm kind of getting at. You have that high-low read on the right side if you leave the running back in the route tree. Then the other thing that you have is, let's say they are running cover two, and you call this play, you should have a pretty good chance at a big play over the middle. Well, you'll see here, see that post kind of splits that cover two really well. So you're able to manipulate that cover two. And then as far as like cover three, cover four, Normally, they're going to be hard flatting if they go to those coverages. They're going to be shading underneath. And so then, then what you're going to look for here is if you look at this, I can freeform this down into the inside, and this is normally pretty good against those deep blues. You don't really need a clear out for those, those zones in the middle of the field this year. That's how bad they are. Um, you might eventually, but as of right now, you really don't need that. And then you also, as I said, you have kind of this high-low read between your drag and your trail. So if the yellows kind of go down, Right, I can just wait on this trail route and see how it's almost like a slant route kind of coming over the top. So it's a nice little high-low read to the left. So you have a high-low read to the left, high-low read to the right, and then a high-low in the middle of the field to really manipulate pretty much anything they can do defensively. I actually love this play the more I look at this because this stemmed corner is so good, and uh, it's just going to cause them to back up, and then you can just check down to the running back. And if you have, you know, Brees Hall or CJ2K or whoever, you can, so, you can spin, and, and the spin move is just cracked this year. So that's one of my favorite plays. Uh, the next play we're going to be going over is going to be Vert's dig. 
So with Vert's Dig this year, a um, couple different ways to run it. I'm going to show you two different ways. I'm going to explain why I run it two different ways. The first way is more optimized for zone. The second way is more optimized for man. I don't really like this post to the slot receiver against man this year. I just feel like it's not the best. Uh, I actually just don't – honestly don't really like this post in general. Um, I would stem it down one tick, and then I would drag my tight end and, and strict this running back. This combo is still really good. If they're not playing hard flats, guess where we're going to throw the ball? We're always throwing that wheel route. We Trust me when I tell you that this is a super hard cover, this flat to the right side. Because even if I hard flat, a lot of times you can just throw this. A lot of times you can just throw it, right? So just keep that in mind. The other thing with these wheel routes um, is you can stem them. And so when you stem them, sometimes what can happen, this is more of a pass lead elite thing, but it can happen with other uh, with regular abilities. You see how they'll kind of like take that step back and then you can just throw this out there against man. So the only way to cover that, to cover that wheel, is to run shaded down man coverage. To run shaded down man coverage. Well, the problem with that is, number one, when he cuts up, he's going to cook it. But number two, you have this post, right? So you have uh, the ability to beat man coverage with your other routes. But if they play like cover, run, cover one or, you know, any of that, this stemmed wheel, you just basically – see how he just kind of freezes? You just throw that out there, and there you go. I mean, this is such a good route. A lot of people aren't doing this. A lot of people are not doing this, Okay. So uh, that's going to force hard flats at the very, very least, right? Probably going to force shade down man, which we would destroy with wide trail. But for now, we'll leave it like this, okay? So then what I like to do is I now have a high-low read to the left side where really it's basically a high-low between the post and the drag. That solo is going to clear out the zones, and then uh, you're just going to basically make your read. Most of the time you're throwing the ball to the post. Most of the time you're throwing the ball to the post if – I will say, though, in this year's game, a lot of, where I play, a lot of people just leave this drag wide open underneath. So you always want to look there, too. And then let's say they kind of vacate the middle of the field or they switch stick or whatever. If they start getting too aggressive, a lot of times this running back is open in a couple windows. Here he'll be open. Um, that hook, the hook curls are so weird in this game, I will say. But, like, let's say – I'm trying to think what they would do. Like, let's just say we get cover three here. Watch this running back. See how the hook curls get super deep? You can oftentimes just possession catch it right in that little pocket. Now, what they can do is they can shade underneath. And for some reason in this game, a shaded underneath hook curl will carry the running back route. You see how he kind of carries them super deep pretty well, honestly. So... That's the basic thing they have to do is just to shade it down yellow on that side. Now, that being said, this is where I like to put my slot receiver. I like to just stem him up. And when you stem his in route up to about 15, even 20 yards, this really opens up right in that pocket. It's really a nice spacing play. And this is a much better route combo against man, in my opinion, because the in routes in this game are super good against man. So, again, you want to go 15, even 20 yards. Basically, you just run your routes. And, of course, I brag about the in route. It doesn't beat man. I will say man beating in, in – um, man, be, man beating routes are just sometimes just random. But, but normally this in route does fry. Let's see if we can show it here. Gets that inside leverage. I don't know how. I don't know. It might just be an overall thing. I will say in practice, but I've noticed man coverage actually guards a little better than in game. But normally this could be wide up. We also showed you the wheel route thing you can do against man. And there you see he beats man coverage. So you can go with the post. You can go with the end route up to you. But uh, I I don't think this, uh, this super deep end route is a bad thing. I really don't. I actually really like it. Because I think it just spaces the field really well. And you see kind of how – I like how it goes flat against zone. I miss the old uh, slot apprentice post, to be honest. All right, so that is uh, – we've gone over flood. We've gone over verts dig. We've gone over trail. So let's go over corner strike. So uh, corner strike, very simple setup this year. 
just streak your slot receiver, and you have a high-low read to the right side. Now, this time you have a high-low read with the inside and outside guy, and this corner route is money. Uh, this specific corner route cannot be recreated with Hot Route Master, and this specific corner route is, like, the best corner route I've seen at basically just always getting open against cover three or cover four. If they run cover three or cover four, this corner route is absolute money on the sideline. Now, if they run cover two, which I don't know, you, you would have to be crazy to run cover two consistently against this, against this offense, but if you do run cover two here, where are we looking? We'll just take our little flat route, honestly. We could just take our little flat route. I like this flat route from corner strike because it's, like a, it's almost like a slant out uh, just in terms of the way that it runs. And then if they – if you are consistently seeing cover two, we can always just put this guy on a slot apprentice corner or not a slot apprentice corner, but a, like the basic hot route corner, right? That's a little deeper. It's going to do much better against cover two, right? So you can kind of mix, mix this in. Another thing you could do now that we're on the subject is on flood, put your tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. And it's that same, it's that same type of sharper corner. It's not as good as corner strike, but, but it's pretty decent. Now, against man coverage, this play from corner strike is a lot better at beating man than people realize. So the first thing is your tight end route, he pretty much always beats man. It doesn't look like he's super open, but he has that outside leverage, and you could just throw that out there, and a lot of times it gets open just by pure alignment and the way the route runs. Now, the other route you have is this sharp corner. You'll see here Sauce Gardner is going to play it really well because he has all of the abilities. But this sharp corner route is honestly decent against man. Let's see if we can actually throw it. There you see that time he fries. You see that we can throw that against man. The other thing that we can throw against man is this backside running back route. And this C route can be rocket catched or aggressive catched on the sideline. So if you see man coverage, one of my favorite things to do in this game is just throw the C route down and away and basically got to wait a little bit longer to throw that but basically when he it's almost like you're rocket catching this it's not exactly a rocket but you could even like high point this high point down with a big body like mike williams and normally this will be open let's see if i can throw this one more time if not we'll move on let's see here down there that's the animation we want so I'm pass leaning down and outside or free forming down and outside and really trying to bend the ball back. What we see here again, down. Oh, got shedded. Practice mode sheds are insane. I have to say that in every video I do. Let's see here, down. It's almost like you're trying to throw it late and then you're just going to cut it off. So this C route is super good, especially with a big body receiver over there. Show it to you again. Down and boom. I like that read a lot um, if they're playing man. Let's go with the press man look. We'll show you one more time against man. So you're going to kind of be patient on this route. He loops ag. Very nice route. And you see how it just kind of manipulates man coverage because the man coverage is kind of like more like Madden 23-ish where you can just ag man down, and then you've got a moss. Uh, you're not trying so much to pass lead it to the sideline as you are trying to get it down. You've got to get this pass down so that you can basically jump. You see here, down. Oh, my gosh. So close to showing you this. Such a good route from man, though. A lot of people like to run man on that left side. There you see it. Okay. So another thing that people are going to do on this left side, uh, occasionally you will get like a soft squat adjustment. Let me go back over the corner strike play. So you get the soft squat adjustment on the left side. You, you're, you're pretty much against soft squats. Let me just play like a true cover two here on the left. So if you watch this corner route. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done, we're, 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 we're done blitzing. I, I don't understand this game. I, I don't understand these, these practice mode sheds. Every year, every year these practice mode sheds do this. I just want to show you how we can manipulate the soft squat because people are going to soft squat on that solo side this year. It's like a little bit more of an adjustment you're seeing. You'll see here that you can just throw this running back underneath it, 
right? Because the soft squat is essentially going to match uh, to that. Another thing that I really like to do is let's say that they are consistently like playing like a cover two almost to the side, and then they're, you know, maybe like a vert hook, like cover two sink almost. If they're doing stuff like this, this is where you really want to go with the um, either either one of these setups, but this verts dig setup is super good against this. You see here, watch this tight end. See how the soft squat is just going to take him, and the, basically the soft squat is just going to vacate his responsibility. So that's another way that you can kind of manipulate that adjustment that a lot of people like to do. That being said, I want to go over the play dagger that we have not covered yet. Dagger is an extremely effective play this year. And occasionally, if you want to get a, a, uh, a dagger in, you can do it. Another thing you can do is always just audible over to it out of Bunch Strong, right? If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. We have a Bunch Strong ebook on, um, or Bunch Strong Nasty in our, in our ebook. So go and check that out. But anyway, uh, basic setup for dagger. What I like to do is drag my slot. I'm going to post my outside guy and stem him up one tick. So it looks kind of like this. This is kind of like drive from College Football 25, but this post is just going to get into a really nice spot on the field. Um, it's really good against a zone. It's really good against man. It uh, doesn't really matter what they do. So, again, the whole idea with this setup of dagger is we're really just trying to attack that left side of the field, right? We can attack that left side of the field really, really well with these routes. I don't know how I keep getting shedded. I, I, maybe this might – this literally – you might be able just to like run um, send three in this game and not have to blitz your user anymore. I don't know. But you see you got your drag, right? If they play man, a lot of times this drag's gonna be there for you. And then um, and then the other thing you have is this post and this backside in route. If you watch here, hopefully the post will eventually cut. And that's against Sauce Gardner. We're still able to catch it. I like to possession catch it if I'm playing man coverage normally. So then now they're going to start to adjust over on that on that sideline, trying to take some of that stuff away we're doing over there. And that's where this tight end route can be pretty money for you. You'll see when he look at the <laughs> look at the two man look at the two man here from three three. My goodness. Oh, you see here, we're just getting everybody out of here just because I can't stand these sheds. But I just want to show you this tight end route. So you see, he's going to be really flat, almost like an in route. And so you can just fire that in there, possession catch that, and be able to beat man coverage that way. And then if they do run like any kind of, you know, cover two, you're basically putting that cloud in a lot of conflict. And most of the time, if they're playing cover two, you can hit that drag super late. See how far that cloud backs up and then you're able to kind of get busy. So this is the bunch strong offense. Obviously, if they're playing a lot of zone, mixing this RPO. This RPO is terrible against man this year. Like, it's really bad against man. Don't call it against man. If you happen to run this RPO and they are in man coverage, all you're going to do is just hand it off. You're never throwing that RPO against man coverage this year, at least, right, at least not right now. So this is really good against zone. It's not very good against man. But the bubble is really good against zone. If they man the bubble up, normally that's going to stop it this year. But in general, this is how uh, you can run the bunch strong offense. If you guys want to check out my entire ebook on the Bears offensive playbook, it is in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. To sign up, click the link in the description below.